Hi, I'm Jacqueline and welcome to Stay at Home Crafts. Today I want to share with you a fun craft you can make from home. I will include modifications if you don't happen to have certain items. So, okay, let's get started. So today I thought we would make paper pinwheels and decorate them. The first thing we're going to need is four pieces of paper. So you can either use construction paper or some lightweight color, watercolor paper. So we're going to fold our paper widthwise. And then we're going to fold it in half and press down on the creases. We're going to unfold our paper like so and we're going to fold it like an accordion. So we're going to fold it down and then we're going to fold it back And then we're going to do that until we reach the end. When we're finished folding it, then we'll take it and where the crease is and fold this together and glue it down. So you could use cement glue or you could use a glue gun if you had it. The only kind of glue I could find was this uh, Eco 6000 was all I had around. So. I'm just going to put that on here and then use an old paintbrush to kind of smooth it down. And then press it together. And then we have a fan. It takes a little while for these to dry, so I clipped mine together with a clothespin so it wouldn't come apart while it was drying. So, like I said, we are going to do this four times, and once we get all four of them glued down. We'll have our pinwheel. So just to save some time, I went ahead and glued all these together because they do need to dry overnight. And be sure and put a dab of glue right here in the middle just to hold it together. Uh, if you make one, you'll see what I'm talking about. So once you have it made, you're going to take, and I put mine on the back, just punch a little hole in the back. So you'll have something to hang it by. And I thought we would color it or paint it. I know you all you all love to paint because it's messy. I chose this pretty green that kind of started already, but you just paint in between the lines, the folds, I should say. We're just going to paint it. It looks kind of like a sunburst when you do that. You might want to 
painted rainbow one. Anyway, I went ahead and painted this side just to show you what it looks like when it's finished. And you could give it a couple of coats if you wanted to. Just depends on how, how much green you want on yours or whatever color, this might not be green. So once it's painted, and so then you're gonna wanna hang it. So next, you're gonna wanna hang it. And you can choose any kind of cord you like. There's, got some stretch cord here, and some hemp cord, and some natural cord, or just some string. Whatever cord you choose, you want it to be either thin enough to get through the bead or your bead has a big enough hole that you can put the string through to find my, where I punch my hole. So we're just gonna thread the rope through the hole and then we're gonna find some beads that look pretty on there. I think this green would be pretty matching. And it's got a nice size hole, so I don't think I'll have any problems putting that through. That's a nice brown one. I'm gonna top it off with this cute little flower. And I'm gonna put about five beads on mine, but you can just put as many beads as you like. Once you put the beads on, I would recommend tying another knot right here so the beads don't fall off, especially if we're gonna move it around a little bit. That'll keep the beads from falling. Then you can just tape it or hang it up, whichever, however you want to. And I've made two now, so I've got a, got a pretty green one and a pretty blue one. Maybe I'll make a rainbow one next. So if you want to take a picture of your pinwheel and send it to me, that would be great. Thank you for joining me for today's stay at home craft. I hope you'll join me next time. You can find this program and many others at our website, www.jesspublib.org.